Hi, this is Dr. Deborah Zucker, and welcome back for our fourth and final video in the Personal Sustainability Module. This video is on clarifying your commitments. So some reminders to carry you forward in this journey. First, as I've been emphasizing so far in the teaching, you're beginning a transformative journey here in which you're awakening a new guidance system for your life. And this is going to affect everything. If you really open to the learning at a deep level and and let yourself feel and move with everything that's being evoked in you and, and give yourself to the experiments and the commitments, I know that this is going to transform everything about how you're moving through life. And, and it may feel really subtle at first, but the impacts can ripple out into all realms of, of your engagement with your life moving forward. We've opened up a lot in this brief module. So with this integration and the transformation going on, please be gentle and loving and compassionate with yourself as you integrate the learning. And remember that this is about the long haul. You know, we're talking about personal sustainability. So be wary as you're integrating this moving forward of how easy it is to slip back into kind of a habitual quick fix approach. And just, you know, gently nudge yourself into the, the wider, more expansive view again when you notice that happening. And again, as I emphasized in the last video, if you want to truly embody and actualize the possibilities you've tasted in this module, you'll need to lean into others for support and continue leaning into them as, as you move forward in your learning journey. This really is just an introduction, but it's a powerful one that can open up so much for you if you give yourself to that opening and, and allow the transformation to happen. So to help with your integration, I'm going to take you on a brief guided journey. And just like with the meditation in, in the other video, if you need to, you can pause now to remove any distractions from your space and, and bring yourself into an orientation of being able to give your full presence to this process right now. So starting with getting comfortable in, in the seat where you're at, feeling gravity taking you so that you can just let down and let go a bit more into being held in this moment. and inviting yourself home into your body and being. Feeling what's evoked for you in that in this moment. How are you inhabiting yourself? Where does your awareness go? And how might you expand your awareness in this moment to embrace and take in more fully all the different dimensions of who you are. To expand into inhabiting yourself more fully than you were a moment ago. And from this place of being present to yourself, I'd like you to imagine that you're outside right now and you're standing in front of an empty garden plot. And whether you have any experience with gardening or not, just imagine that right now you have the opportunity to tend to this particular garden plot. And it's early spring. So right now, the task is to weed and remove the mulch and fork the beds and add the compost and other nutrients to prepare that soil for the planting. 
And when you've completed that and, and the seasons begin to turn, it's time for planting. And, you know, you pick out the different seeds that, that you're going to put in the ground and, and you strategize about what location would be best for them, you know, so that they would have the optimum light and, you know, they're near other species that they would do well with. And, and you take into all the, all the different all the different factors that will support that plant in thriving. And you plant those seeds and you water them and you tend to them and you make sure that you weed around that area so they don't have competition as they're germinating. And, and pretty soon those seeds begin to pop through the soil and they begin to grow and blossom and you continue to tend to them and you might add some more compost at a particular time and you weed and you water and you make sure that they're, they're getting that sunlight and that the soil is draining properly. And that's what you're doing. You're simply staying attentive and you're making sure that those plants have the most optimal environment that they can in order to thrive and blossom and bloom and fruit as they naturally and innately will. And in time they do. And you'll see that each of those plants, even the ones that are the same species, they all look different. They all naturally just come into their own form. And if you notice perhaps that one might be withering a little bit, you tend to it and as the gardener that's your job and you love it it's so incredibly satisfying to see life just naturally blooming and growing and finding its way while you give it what it needs to thrive and flourish and like you just tune into this analogy for yourself right now and recognize that that same innate life energy in those plants, that, that same force that miraculously causes those seeds to germinate and burst through the soil on their own and to find their way into their particular form, that's the same life energy in you. And so what would it be for you to turn towards yourself with that same spirit that you had as a gardener, to ask the same kind of questions of what would support you in thriving and flourishing and naturally blooming in life, because you're made of the same stuff. It's the same mystery, it's the same miracle that's infusing you. And you have the opportunity to be your own gardener to be your own steward at that level of discernment and listening and attentiveness that you can show to those plants in that garden plot. And so when you're ready, I'd like you to turn towards these inquiry exercises to take your journal and explore how this analogy may elucidate, may enlighten you to ways in which you can embrace your own life moving forward, to how you can turn that same kind of awareness and action and agency towards yourself. So these are the questions to explore. What are you currently doing to nourish the life energy in you as you would that seed in the ground or the plant bursting through the soil? What makes up your compost and fertilizer mix? That is, what are you taking in that nourishes you? And can you identify what additional nourishment might you add to your fertilizer mix now? In what contexts are you planted? Are they appropriate for you? And how are you caring for the terrain you are in? And how does tending to the garden of yourself translate into how you may tend to others in the world at large? So when you complete this journaling exercise, 
I'd like you to then turn to clarifying your commitments. And, and this is a whole other level of, of the integration process because I'm asking you to really drop deep again into yourself and tune in to what is that inner guidance? What are you being nudged towards? What are you ready to step up for with fierce dedication and claim and own and commit to in your life? And so these are the questions and actions I'm inviting you into at this place. So from a place of owning your own empowerment and conscious choice, what are you willing in this moment to name that you're ready to commit to prioritize in life? And not only what are you ready to commit, but what are three initial concrete steps you feel ready to commit to that will begin to actualize the realizations you've had in the learning of this module? And who will you share these commitments and steps with that will lovingly hold and support you in this transformation? So I encourage you to really give yourself some time and let this sink in and work you. This is the transformation at play and this is the incorporation process. This is stage three of the transformative journey where you have the opportunity to really take this and integrate it into the realities of your day-to-day -day life and to be the author of your life to have that level of creativity and empowerment and listening for how life itself is guiding you. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this module and I just want to say it's, it's really been an honor to be with you on this journey and to let you know that if I can be of any support to you moving forward, don't hesitate to be in touch. And I really honor and support from afar your own capacity to be your own expert, to be your own guide, and to find your way forward in an alignment that is going to birth a whole other level of vitality and aliveness and creative movement in your life.